Good afternoon, it's Gary from BitterIron.com coming to you from the Lower Mainland. Today I'm going to show you this 2005 Sterling dump truck. It's a model LT9500. It has 369,000 kilometers with a CAT C15 550 horsepower engine. The engine hours are 14,301. It does come equipped with an engine brake and an 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission, RTLO. 18918B. The front axle rating is 20,000 pounds on MFS 20 133A. The rear axle rating is 46,000 pounds, 23 164. The front axle suspension is spring, and the rear axle suspension is airliner. The rear axle ratio is 4.3. It does have full lockers. The wheelbase is 223 inches. The tire size in the front axle is 425, 65R, 22.5, and, and the rear is 11R, 24.5. Wheels all the way around are aluminum, as well as aluminum twin fuel tanks at 100 gallons each. The MVI was recently done, expiring January 30th, 2014. The unit has one owner. It's part of a fleet. It's been extremely well maintained. So it has not had any major work done to it. Just a radiator replaced approximately a year ago. And again, it's been very well maintained. It has a Langfab aluminum dump box with a lift gate. And we're going to show that to you later. On this general walk around here, and try and keep a far distance as possible, but it is attached to the pup here. I'm going to have to walk over the reach, so I'm going to get a little closer. And I'll back off and give you a better view. It's a rich black color. There is some minor body damage to the front fender I saw and we're going to take a close look at it. Other than that, I'm not seeing anything, at least from a distance with this unit. Let's just pan up the passenger side here. We'll follow the bumper along here and go up the driver's side. And we'll take a look at this grill. Everything appears to be in very good condition. And here's the body damage. And other than that, I'm seeing very few scratches or nicks in the paint. Just going down the cab here, the passenger side. Let's take a look at these mirrors. There are no cracks, no delamination in there at all. We've got dual exhaust. The exhaust housing is in good shape, no dents. And the steps over the passenger fuel tank are nice and level. Take a look at the dump body here. And it's in extremely good shape. There's not even a crack in the side rail. Go to the hydraulic tank. And we'll take a closer look underneath when the box is lifted but we will take a look at the tires now let's take a look at axle 2 and we're on the outside tire that looks there's lots of life left in this one and that's the inside 
again. We're going to look underneath once that blocks is up. And we're on axle three. The outside and the inside here. Everything looks consistent as far as wear. And again, there's a lot of life left in these. Let's give you a little closer look at the body here in the rear of the unit. It is a lift gate again. And let's just go up the reach here. Take a look at the rear of the unit. box is in great condition. I've seen just only a couple of little dents. Here's one here. And the side rail on the driver's side is in great shape. And let's take a look at these wheels. Go to axle number three. The outside. side. Lots of life left. Axle number two. The outside. And we're going to the inside. Again, in very good shape. Now let's just finish taking a look at the body here. Two steps in the front, nice and level. And we have the storage boxes, battery box. Passenger fuel tank and steps are in good shape. Let's take a look at the housing and the exhaust. Also in good shape. Driver's side mirror. It's in great condition. Let's just go over the front of the unit here. I'll show you those wheels once the hood is up. Right now we're going to lift the box, start the motor. Well, Side is in great condition here. Now let's take a look underneath here and see what we can find. I'm not seeing any sign of any leaks. See the suspension here.
drivetrain here. Everything looks very good. This unit's in great shape. It's very obvious that it's been well maintained. Take a look at the back of the unit. Air ride. Let's take a look inside the cab. You can see from here the cab is very clean. Got a little bit of rip on the driver's seat. Just a minor one here in the upholstery. Passengers looks okay. Take a look at your gauges. Very complete. CB. your transmission, your PTO, let's start it up, listen to the motor, I will show you the front wheels as well. Thanks for watching and have a good day.